Hey everyone, I'm going to be making another tier list of the add-ons of Nurse, who is my main killer, and I've been playing her for a very long time. Uh, she's my favorite killer, and yeah. Uh, let's just jump into it real quick. Plaid Flannel, it's not very good, but it's like, it can help you as a new nurse. It's very helpful as a new nurse, but as a good nurse, it's going to be like D tier. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put it there. Metal Spoon, I'm pretty sure this increases your breath sounds, and again, it's helpful. It is, but it's not really that good. There are better add-ons, and it's just like, I've used it before, and it, it just, yeah, it's kind of like Strider, where it doesn't make it so you can uh, you can hear them from farther away. It just makes it so they're louder, so it's not that good. Wooden Horse, it's going to be kind of C tier too. I'm pretty sure this one decreases your fatigue after you swing, and that's not bad, but after you miss, I think, actually, and that's not bad, but you shouldn't be missing, so... Actually, I'm going to put it in D tier. Actually, no, I'm going to put it in C tier. Just for the reason of plaid flannel, where if you're a new nurse, you're going to be missing a lot. White neck comb, that is it's probably the worst add-on in the game besides dull bracelet, which I'm going to both put them in F tier. I just saw that one, and, you know, I put it there. They're not good. They will harm your gameplay. That is why they're in F. They're worse than just useless. They harm you. Um, pocket watch, I'm going to put it in B. Um, it's very good because it allows you to get hits that... Uh, Survivors won't think you can hit because you can charge the blink longer and many times survivors won't actually think you can get a hit with your normal second uh, Blink just because they don't expect you to charge it super well, I guess. I don't know and uh, This will just make it so much easier to get those second follow-up blink hits. So yeah uh, I Would say this add-on is probably a B uh, Probably yeah, it's a B. It's helpful because it helps you recharge, but it's not like very it like doesn't add too much like, yeah, it's okay. Katonic, uh, Katonic Boys Treasure, I'm pretty sure this just decreases fatigue um, for additional blinks, and that is decent. It basically just removes the uh, extra fatigue penalty. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, Badman's Keepsake, I'm pretty sure this is just Nurse's Calling. I'm going to put it in B tier 2. It's just Nurse's Calling tier 2 when you hit a survivor with your blink for 60 seconds. So it's going to help. It's basically a perk on an add-on, just with restrictions. Not terrible. I've actually got a lot of use out of it when I've used it before, but it's not very good either. Spasmodic Breath. This is uh, this is F tier. I think I said these were the only two F tier perk add-ons, but I really do think Spasmodic, uh, sp spasmodic Breath is, just because it makes it so you can't blink after hitting a survivor with a blink attack for 60 seconds, and that's just not good. Sure, you're base movement speed but nurse is good because of her blinks and uh yeah not even if she was you know even if she is base movement speed nothing change it doesn't change the fact that she can't use her blink um heavy panting this is going to be like high a tier it's a really good really good add-on like a really good and uh it's part of the most toxic combo which is double range which uh kavana's last breath is s tier for sure it is just so good literally like literal literally allows you to snipe survivors from like so far away sorry for the stutter there uh, fragile wheeze it's another a tier but it's like lower than heavy panting just because uh the range is just so good and uh the recovery of your blink is really good too but i just love range i just think it's so broken uh but yeah fragile wheeze is pretty good so attacks of respiration um so i'm just it really is like B plus, but Catonic Boy's Treasure is there, and the Tax of Respiration is just better. Catonic uh, Boy's Treasure. I don't think this. It's like her best add-on. Like it's probably one of her worst A tier add-ons right now, but it's not bad. So the only problem is when you're done with the fatigue, you still have to wait for the blink to recharge, and you're really not doing anything while waiting for it. Besides just holding W, like you're not going to catch up to the survivor. So obviously, getting the blinks back faster is better, and having better blinks and like better transportation is better too. So these two are better, but this isn't bad either. Um, tech, uh, anxious gasp. Uh, see, it's a fun one, but it's not really good. There are some times where I'll actually find survivors that I didn't know were there, and it gives you points, so that's cool too. But other than that, it's not very helpful. It's not going to save you. Um, so let's go to generous last breath. I'm pretty sure this one allows you to teleport back to your blink. And that's just going to be D tier. It's not very good. Uh, like, just, yeah, there's not many uses for it besides patrolling 
or whatever. So I don't know. I mean, you could argue C, but like no higher. So I'll just put it C. It's just kind of there, and you can use it every now and then. But yeah, Campbell's last breath. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one where when you fully charge a blink, uh, you'll blink, and then you'll blink half a blink in the same direction. And uh, you could, I'm gonna put it in D, but again, like with Jenner's last breath, you can argue there are sometimes some things that you can do with it. But the fact that it automatically consumes half a blink, and you just you don't, yeah, you, it's not that good. Only time I can see it being good is for patrolling, but even then, you don't normally use your second blink when patrolling around the map. So, Badman's Last Breath. This one isn't bad, but it's not good either. I'm pretty sure this is the one where when you hit a survivor, you gain the undetectable status effect for 16 seconds, but it's on a cooldown, so I'm going to say it's just like B tier, but it's like low B tier. You could probably argue C tier, but it's always fun to have undetectable status effect. Um, Porn Bookmark. So this is three blink nurse, and they made they made it so you don't have to be looking, like you don't have to see the area you're blinking to. It just increases the recovery time, so you could pair it with the fragile wheeze and have three blinks and recover it quicker. So I think torn bookmark on its own is probably an A tier, but with like it might even be S tier, uh, but with Fragile Louise, it's definitely like S tier. So you could argue S, maybe A. I just haven't used it since they changed it, so I don't quite know how long it takes to recover it. I just know what it does. Uh, yeah, Matchbox, it's probably an F tier too. Uh, you could probably argue D if you're really good with your first blink, but like, no, nah, it's F tier. You're still at like the same speed of survivors, just like 5% faster. So you're not going to catch up to them, even if you like try really and it's only one blink so you, most of your power really comes from that second blink where you blink to the survivor close and then you get your second blink uh to kind of correct the first blink and get that hit but that is going to be the video it's just a quick add-on to your list of the uh nurse so yeah